Here's a fact that'll make you rethink that glass of water. The EPA recommends drinking water pH between 6.5 and 8.5, but many popular bottled waters and soft drinks fall well into the acidic range. Some as low as 2.5 on the pH scale. That's more acidic than vinegar, folks. Even worse, when your home's water pipes get corroded by acidic water, they can release heavy metals like cadmium, copper, iron, lead, and nickel directly into your drinking supply. The scary part? Most people have no idea their water is outside the safe pH range. The hidden truth about what pH really means. What if I told you that number on a pH strip could predict whether your water is slowly damaging your body? Right? Let's talk about what pH actually means. The pH scale goes from 0 to 14 and it measures how acidic or basic your water is. The number 7 sits right in the middle. That's neutral. Anything below 7 is acidic and anything above 7 is basic or alkaline. Most people think all water is the same but pH can vary wildly depending on where it comes from. Your tap water might test at 6.2 one day and 8.1 the next, and you'd never know it without testing. The truth is, your water picks up different chemicals and minerals as it travels to your glass. Environmental factors play a massive role here. Acid rain from car emissions and factory pollution makes groundwater more acidic over time. When rainwater absorbs sulphur dioxide and nitrogen oxides from the air, it becomes acidic and seeps into underground water sources. This acidic water then sits in aquifers for years, slowly eating away at the natural minerals that would normally balance the pH. The type of rock and soil your water passes through changes its pH naturally too. Water flowing through limestone or chalk becomes more alkaline because these rocks contain calcium carbonate but water passing through granite or sandstone stays more acidic because these rocks don't have the same buffering minerals. If you live in an area with soft rock geology, your water is probably more acidic than you think. Here's where it gets worse. Old metal pipes in homes make water more acidic as they corrode over time. Iron pipes release rust particles, copper pipes leak copper ions, and lead pipes contaminate water with lead. All of these metals create chemical reactions that lower your water's pH and add toxic substances to your drinking supply. The older your home's plumbing, the more likely you are to have acidic, contaminated water. Surface water typically ranges from 6.5 to 8.5 pH, but your tap water might be outside this range without you knowing it. Municipal treatment plants sometimes struggle to maintain consistent pH levels, especially during heavy rainfall or seasonal changes. Private wells have even less oversight, so rural homes often have water with extreme pH levels. pH problems create a domino effect in your body and home. Acidic water corrodes your pipes, which releases more metals, which makes the water even more acidic. Meanwhile, your body works over time trying to neutralise this acidic water, pulling minerals from your bones and teeth to restore balance. pH isn't just a number, it's an early warning system that tells you if your water is safe to drink. When you test your water and see a pH of 5.8 or 9.2, you know something's wrong with your water source or your plumbing system. But what happens when you ignore these pH warning signs? Why your body pays the price for bad water pH? Your kidneys work overtime every single day to fix the pH mistakes in your drinking water. These organs filter about 180 litres of blood daily. And when you drink acidic or alkaline water outside the safe range, they have to work even harder to keep your blood pH stable between 7.35 and 7.45. Your body has natural buffering systems that try to keep your blood pH stable no matter what you drink. The respiratory system helps by controlling carbon dioxide levels when you breathe. The renal system, that's your kidneys, filters out excess acids and bases through your urine. But these systems weren't designed to handle constant pH correction from poor water quality. 
When you drink acidic water regularly, your body steals calcium and magnesium from your bones and teeth to neutralize the acid. This process is called mineral leaching and it happens automatically when your buffering systems get overwhelmed. Your body prioritizes keeping your blood pH stable over keeping your bones strong. That calcium gets pulled from your teeth and bones, dissolves into your bloodstream and gets filtered out by your kidneys. Over months and years, this mineral theft weakens your skeletal structure and makes your teeth more vulnerable to decay. Acidic water forces your kidneys to work harder because they have to process all these extra minerals and acids. The EPA recommends keeping drinking water between 6.5 and 8.5 pH specifically to avoid stressing your kidneys long term. When your kidneys work overtime for years, they can develop strain that affects their ability to filter toxins and maintain proper fluid balance in your body. Here's the connection between pipe corrosion and heavy metal exposure. When acidic water eats away at metal pipes, it picks up cadmium, copper, lead and nickel. Acidic water below 6.5 pH acts like a solvent, dissolving metal ions from your plumbing and carrying them straight to your glass. Copper pipes release copper ions, lead pipes leak lead particles and iron pipes add rust and iron to your water supply. These heavy metals accumulate in your body over time because your organs can't process them efficiently. Lead affects your nervous system and brain function. Copper builds up in your liver and can cause digestive problems. Cadmium damages your kidneys and bones. Nickel can trigger allergic reactions and respiratory issues. Research shows links between long-term acidic water consumption and dental enamel erosion. The acidic environment in your mouth from drinking low pH water weakens tooth enamel, making your teeth sensitive and prone to cavities. Many people experience headaches, fatigue, digestive issues and dental problems without knowing their water pH is the cause. Your body's buffering system wasn't designed to handle constant pH correction from poor water quality. These natural systems work best when they only need to make small adjustments occasionally, not major corrections every time you drink water. What if you could fix this problem before it reaches your glass? Simple steps to take control of your water quality. Here's how to properly test your water pH. Fill a clean glass with fresh tap water and dip the pH test strip in for about two seconds. Don't leave it in too long or you'll mess up the reading. Pull the strip out and wait for the colour change to happen, which usually takes about 15 seconds. Now compare the colour on your strip to the chart that comes with the kit and match it as closely as you can. If your water tests below a pH of 6.5 or above 8.5, you may need to take action. Water below 6.5 is acidic and can be corrosive, potentially leaching heavy metals like copper and lead from your pipes into your supply. Water that is too alkaline above 8.5 often tastes bitter and can cause mineral deposits to build up in your appliances and pipes, reducing their efficiency and lifespan. But the importance of pH goes beyond just your plumbing. Your body works tirelessly to maintain a tightly controlled blood pH of around 7.4. When you consistently drink overly acidic water, you place a strain on these natural buffering systems. To neutralize this acid, your body may need to draw on its alkaline mineral reserves, such as calcium from your bones and teeth, which can have long-term health implications. Drinking water with a balanced pH helps support your body's natural state without forcing it to work harder. This brings us to alkaline water, which has gained significant attention for its potential health benefits. Proponents suggest that because of its higher pH, alkaline water can help neutralize acid in the body, leading to better hydration, improved metabolism, and reduced acid reflux. While scientific research is ongoing, many people choose to drink alkaline water as part of a holistic approach to wellness, aiming to support their body's buffering systems and counter the acidic load from modern diets and stress. 
The good news is that you can take control of your water's pH with effective filtration systems that not only purify, but also balance your water. Carbon water filters are a practical and affordable first step. These filters are excellent at removing chlorine and other chemicals that can make water acidic. By removing these acidic compounds, the water naturally moves closer to a neutral pH of 7. You can easily install these filters under your sink or on your worktop. For a more comprehensive solution, a multi-stage system that includes an alkalizing cartridge is ideal. These systems work by first purifying the water and then restoring healthy minerals that are often removed during treatment. An alkalizing cartridge contains natural minerals like calcium and magnesium. As the purified water passes through, it dissolves these minerals, which naturally raises the pH back into a healthy, slightly alkaline range, while also enriching your water with beneficial electrolytes. Taking control of your water pH is one of the easiest and most impactful health improvements you can make. Small changes to your water quality can have big impacts on your long-term health and your body will thank you for giving it water that supports, rather than challenges, its natural balance. The pH challenge, what's your number? The difference between healthy and unhealthy water often comes down to a single number that most people never check. That pH reading tells you everything you need to know about whether your water supports your body or works against it. Try testing your water at home. Get those pH strips, dip them in your tap water and see what colour comes up. Share your results in the comments below. Let's see how many of you have water outside that safe, 6.5 to 8.5 range. Your body deserves water that supports your health not water that forces it to work harder every single day.